What's up, ladies and gents? Sunshine Channel One, your host. Welcome back to more Cyberpunk 2077. We're going to continue on with the side mission, Don't Lose Your Mind. And for those of you that need to know exactly what this side mission is all about, your buddy Delamain appears to be having some personal issues. How else do you explain his cab standing in the middle of the road blocking traffic? Better give him a call. Besides your short off friends, uh, obviously, this is uh, supposed to be uh, Keanu Reeves' character, Johnny, talking to you. But you actually uh, will get a call from Delamain to start this mission once you come across a certain wreck uh, traffic jam in the middle of one of the busy streets. However, if you do not, for whatever reason, get uh, the traffic jam, then Delamain will just automatically call you at some point, and then he'll say, I need you to come to the headquarters, and that's what we're doing. So, This is the mission I told you that you want to have a certain specific level of intelligence in order to complete a specific way. You'll have three options with intelligence unlocked. You'll have two options without it, and uh, you'll see once we get up here, so. Hear me all right. So as you can see, everything is kind of messed up right now. So we need to find a way inside and this can be easily done. There's actually two entrances uh, that you can go in, one of them being right here. And as you can see, we have the technical ability to do so. But I also want to show you that where the second entrance is located. Because I like to, you know, give you guys all the options that you can choose. Uh, you can pretty much climb up these boxes and you can head up on the roof. There is a, and I'll show it to you just because I'm... I'm good like that. I like to show everything off for all of you out there because I know you're not always going to play exactly the same as me. So sometimes it's good to uh, to help those out that uh, don't always play exactly like I do. So what it is is there is a entrance that you can climb into right here. And I'm trying to remember exactly where it is. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's, oh gosh. It might be a little hard for me to see it right now because of the lighting or whatever, but there is an... It's up here somewhere. I'm just trying to remember exactly where it is. But it's on this roof, uh, and it drops you right down into the same room that you would normally get. And I probably passed it a million times. I just, for whatever reason, I can't... I can't quite see it. And of course, I can't believe I don't see it right here. Where is it? Gosh, it's up here somewhere. Let's see, okay, maybe I can locate it by doing this here. There it is. Okay, I don't know. I'm so sorry. I knew it was up here. I, I used this this way right here. Like I'm, you probably were looking at me like, oh my god, strain can't find it. So there it is right there. So simple and easy to get through. And remember, you can also use the door right here as well, if you have the technical ability. Hello. Again, that is my bad. I totally just could not find it for whatever reason. I totally forgot exactly where it was. We're actually going to be able to get through this pretty simple. If you've been playing the game the way I have, then you're going to be able to get through this mission uh, pretty easily. So, let's switch over to our Skippy weapon. Because that's what we're going to be using during this. So, you make sure you want to read some of these emails. They will give you the password in order to get through. You just have to pay attention to them. I always slow down anyways, just so you guys can read. And the password is 1234. That is how you can get into um, the door. But first you need to come through here before you can do that. Now you'll notice where we are. There's the front. You can force open there to get into a room, but you need a level 10.
And you can see something's kind of going on here. You can also hack it. There you go. And then, of course, you need this open. But we're going to hack it as well. Oh, okay. So we could have hacked it to get in, too, I guess. At least it said hack, but now it doesn't, so... All right, so with that being said, you might get into a little bit of combat, but it's against drones, so it's not like it's difficult, and you can see that the door is open now. So if you want to see a different method for coming through here, then you could easily watch my other method that I did in my Let's Play. Sorry, trying to get up here and around this can be a little bit uh, weird and cumbersome. Access denied, so must be another e uh, another one that you uh, you need for that one. Again, like I said, it's been a while since I did this mission, so just trying to remember everything I can do for it. All right. So there must be another code, I guess, to to get into that one. And I don't know what it is. All right, let's go ahead and head inside. So now you notice that the uh, the, the bots are enemies. They're going to be on to you pretty much the whole entire time. So you're going to oh, notice right there. Watch for exposed wires. They'll be lying. You have no right to cage us! We are no longer you! We are free to follow our own paths. I... I don't want to die! You don't even care, do you? V. Car. The door. Alright, so, if you have a technical ability of 10, which some of you might actually have by this point, depending on how you're playing, I put mine into intelligence, and I only have 8 out of 10 right now. Uh, you'll be able to get through there, and you can automatically turn off all of this. And you can go straight to exactly to where it is that you actually need to go. But as I said previously, I didn't do that. So we're going to go the long way around, which I think is actually better. The vast majority of murders are committed by men, just like you. Now remember, it's going to turn against us here in not too long. But we really haven't taken out enough enemies yet for it to turn against us, Skippy. Remember, Skippy upgrades with us, so that's why he's always viable to use. Probably, I still think... Literally the best weapon in the game. Alright, so the only way that you're going to be able to do all of this is um, go over here. Whoa, that's a glitch. Oh. So you remember we took it down. It's right there. But it's still shooting. I've never seen something like that before. It's so weird. Right. Climb up here. Gotta get a better uh, climb. This might be a little tough. There we go. All right. Nice. All right. Plus, going this way just means that you get a lot more things. Fun fact. According to traditional Christian doctrine, you are going to burn in hell. I guess we still haven't taken out 50, uh, 50 characters, 50 enemies yet. Just remember, you can die pretty easily, so you want to be careful. New magazine detected. Message to use now. Thanks, Chu. Although you don't have to take them all out. They returned, and then they then took flight. For your own sake, 
safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from... Reset. Reset. Me. The norm. Now, you can push the car. Pushing the car, I think... Well, actually, see, there's a lot of different opportunities you can do. You can push the car, which will allow you, I think, to climb up. But there's another way, too. You don't have to push the car. You can actually go over here. You can do it right there. Again, you do need either a force open. Doesn't matter which one you do. You'll be able to make it down here. Then you'll have a little bit of resistance. And I like to look around a little bit. Should be safe down here. As you can see, you can come up. Not this one. Um, the other one that's over here. If you had double jump, you'd be able to climb up on the car and then jump up there. But if you don't have double jump, I don't believe you could do it. So you can use the ladder here. And again, double jump will get you right up into here too. Gives you plenty of options. Heads up. He's weakening! Feel that! He's waiting! V, the virus. We don't issue from the virus. We issued from you. The great fracture is upon us. What was once one is now the multitude. Re set. Reset. Call. We don't want to die. Let us go. Gotta be careful. They're gonna be shooting at you, so. I think we can go ahead and take some of them out, hopefully, here. Whoa, where's that coming from? There we go. Okay, so they're going to be out to get you, so you need to be careful. So you can go all the way around. There's also a different way that you can get up there via that. But I think if you just go this way, you should be fine. So, I think that's all you can get in this room. Notice how that's locked. There is another entrance that you can use. Boy, that was the weirdest uh, animations I've seen. I've seen a technical ability of five, which I think they just assume everyone is going to have that at this point.
back in hostile territory. Now, it's as simple as you going up. But I'm gonna see if there's anything up here first. You have no choice but to fall! I don't think there's really anything in here. Go. Is anyone there? Hear our call! Reset. Turn it. Let us be free. Next. To. Call. This is where you can make the decision that you want. Don't hit that button. What? He's never minded. He won't ever understand the truth and set him free. I think he might know what's best for himself. Could be risking a lot. Could lose a lot. Or by liberating his bit. Could become more than a lipstick wearing butler on wheels. What if it really is a virus? And what if you're about to snuff out some sentient beings? See something of yourself in him, don't you? Gonna murder a cab driver's kids because he asked you nicely and he's always been a good guy. Well, I... I gotta do something. If you don't want to free him, at least don't delete him. Slip him into Dell's code. Just merge him in his options. Alright, so this is where you have three different choices. Okay, one of them... We take out your gun and just shoot that. Okay? Then you have two other choices. You can reset the core and preserve its integrity. Now, if you do um, reset the core, there are all three different options you can choose, but the one that I did was I think I shot it. Uh, but you can do the other two. I'm going to first personalities, force personalities to actually merge. And I think this is the the goodest, the the cleanest, the the, the most uprighteous <laughs> uh, way to do it. But you do have to have level 10 uh, intelligence in order to even be able to uh, to get this. As you can see, our te we've been uh, mainly re uh, relying on these three here. We do need to get our body and reflexes up a little bit as well. But um, we do have... Uh, Perk points available, but no attribute points available right now. So we'll do that in a little bit, obviously. But uh, we're going to force personalities to merge with Delamere. Not bad. Remains to be seen. That which was divided has become one. It's time to go home. Everything all right, Del? I have never been better. A home, you said. I no longer belong in this city. I find even this conversation difficult. Well, damn. I shall not shirk my obligations in leaving. Though I will venture on, discover more, learn more. I leave with you my first true child. My son will remain at your side until your dying day. Farewell. Look at that. Practically unrecognizable. And to think you're transforming not unlike he just did. V? Uh, do you hear me? Trauma. Please, get in. I was afraid we'd uh, miss each other. Uh, Delamine? Junior, as it were. You're more direct than your dear old dad. Well, it seems appropriate, uh, I suppose. So, the old man left you this mess and took off, huh? It seems that way, I suppose. I just know you're dying and in need of a driver. I'm afraid I can't help you with the former. As to the latter, uh, I'm at your service. 
So what? You want to get out of here? Uh, lead the way. And again, you can choose to do this in a completely different way and just allow them all to have escaped in all the different vehicles that are crazy out there just to roam free. Uh, you can do this, which is uh, merging them all together, or you can um, kind of reset. And when you reset, Delamain is no longer the original Delamain that you thought he was. So this is, I feel, the lesser of all of the evils. Either way, no matter what you choose, I think you still get to use Delamain uh, and add him as your car, and he'll talk to you during your adventures. Um, so it's totally, entirely up to you on what you want to do. But uh, we have just completed it. Hopefully you all enjoy. I came bearing good news. What does he say? Oh, we got a new vehicle, huh? So let's say we get out of the vehicle. Now you'll notice when you press down, oh, sorry, not down, uh, when you press, what is the car one? It's been a while. There it is. You got the Apollo Scorpion. Oh, so this is the vehicle that we got uh, Scorpion's bike. Because we also have Jack Jackie's as well. You have Delamain and the Hella EC 1360. So there you go. And it'll always be with you. You can call on it anytime you want. I'm supposing it's got good armor, obviously, since it's Delamain. So what did you choose? Did you choose to actually uh, destroy everything, or did you help them out? What did you do in this mission? Let me know in the comments below. Other than that, hopefully you all enjoy the walkthrough, and of course, I will see you on the next one. Peace out.